What we found by analysing these, the scans of one of these vases, it has to have been designed and manufactured with a system that is incredibly precise, that can get things down to a thousandth of an inch. Now, bear in mind, the width of a human hair is between two and three thousandths of an inch. Mm. So you're talking about precision and levels of geometric sort of um, sophistication that's you know, half the width of a human what hair. What is down to a thousandth of an inch? What you do is, when, if you go to vase scan, you look at it and you go, okay, so the top of the vase, we can define how flat that is, right? And we can also say, well, that's think of that as a horizontal axis. And then there's the mouth of the vase. And what they do, if you, if you go to vase scan, essentially we're taking the, the top of that vase, we've, we've mapped it like a horizontal axis to it. Now we're mapping a cylinder to the neck of the vase using more than, I think it's 10,000 points of reference. So a very accurate representation yep. of that neck of the vase. And you can compare it to that top. So we know, okay, that, that cylinder, yep. once you map a geometric object to it, you can perform geometry on it, figure out what's its center line, what's its center point, all that stuff. It's perpendicular to the top of the vase perfectly within one thousandth of an inch. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then so, and then you Basically, could... the top is really even. If we assume the bottom is flat, the top is almost perfectly parallel to the to the bottom or the ground it's sitting on. That's what you're trying to say yeah, so in terms it's, of precision, or per right? Perpendicular and parallelism. Perpendicular is when this perpendicular when this is the fake t, yeah, column degrees. that you guys are doing. Yeah. But I'm just trying to explain like how flat the top oh, is, yeah. and that's why it's so impressive.